Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat. And I'm Raven. And welcome back to our final entry in the Good Vibes Only collection, our first collection of 2021. Uh, when this goes live, it ought to be the Wednesday prior to launch, which will be available this Friday, January 29th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on catandravendesigns.com. This is going to be featuring a whole bunch of fun collections, including some that we did not make videos for because we've made them previously, which includes Humboldt County. We are bringing back a version of Coco Castile. We're calling it Soft Boy this time because it is not a Castile soap. It is cocoa butter and olive oil and cocoa powder with no fragrance, no further oils. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. It does. It smells like chocolate. Uh, and we are also bringing the hashtag Oak Bars, the delightful inspired bars for their final run. We will not be making these again. So this is your last chance to get a hold of them. We made a ton of low tops. We made a ton of high tops. Grab them while you can, kids, because this is it. So... The design we're working on today, you may recognize, is something kind of similar to what we've done previously. We have been wanting to do a galaxy soap for ages, and Erin gave us such a cool design for her custom loaf. We just had to reuse a version of it here. So we're going to do some slight tweaks, but very similar to that custom loaf. The fragrance we're using today is a custom blend of gooseberry and lilac from Eco Candle Supply. I know it says for use for candle making, but it is also soap safe. Don't worry, we have checked. And this is also a blend that we used in another custom loaf, uh, Ren's Shampoo Bars, and it is inspired by Yennefer of Vangerberg's perfume from The Witcher. So if you've been looking out for a uh, soap with that fragrance, it is coming. It is now, hence the name I picked for the soap, Big Bang! Big Bang! <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so let's get rolling. We got our base of oils here. I'm going to go ahead and add in our sodium lactate, sodium hydroxide, and distilled water. Now that the base batter is all combined and ready to go, I have all six of our colors here. There are a lot. I don't necessarily want to go through every single one because there was a ton. Just know they all have a little bit of biodegradable glitter inside of them. And I have already added the fragrance oil into each bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and pour out my batter. By the way, speaking of Jennifer, I would make her scream. I do believe you went over that <laughs> last time. Yes. <laughs> So we now have our slab mold lined with freezer paper. This is one of our DIY molds because I just cannot bring myself to buy a proper one yet. Meh. <laughs> so let's get pouring here. when everything was galaxy for a while there? Yes. Okay, so when everything was galaxy, like I started to get a little bit annoyed with it because I was like, really, everything? Yes, everything. <laughs> everything. But it wasn't even like a, like it wasn't that annoyed where I'm like, I hate galaxy. It was just that I would like this specific like style of thing and all you have is galaxy and I'm mildly frustrated. <laughs> Sorry. Or like, I want this in a, you know, a solid, like, this color. But everything with this color is galaxy. I'm trying to save a little bit of each color for the top. I really want a fun splattered top with this. actually looking at it right now in <clears throat> between the soap and the camera it's actually pretty I think we got our lighting just right because it's pretty close is it that's good I'm trying to get better about lighting and things like that it's hard it's a lot of work 
I still really like how that dark blue came out. I think it did come out different than what the original dark blue did, but I, I'm liking that dark blue more. Like the other dark blue was real good. It was real nice. It was real. But for some reason, this dark blue is just. It's doing it for you. Oh, yeah. It's tickling your color fancy. Yes. You know what I'd really like to do in terms of color fancy? Hmm. I'd love to do a soap with the uh, Pantone of the Year colors. It's gray and yellow this year. Gray and Pantone is a company and they make like these particular colors for print and they picked out, every year they pick out like the colors of the year and this year it's this really lovely shade of gray and yellow and it's really pretty together. Almost done. And then I get to glitter it. When I'm done. I ain't done yet. Got stuff to do still. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? No, is it done yet? Done is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it no, done yet? Stop. <laughs> Child. Why do I get the feeling that you're going to have like a cute cat being annoying? You know what I usually do when you're being annoying? Huh. I put this like really low level uh, music called Cat Circus <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Is, it, is that what's going to be playing for for that part? Probably. <laughs> All right. I'm going to swirl this, but I'm not going to feather swirl it, I think. We're going to go a little bit more, like, all over the place. Okay. I'm excited. Rawr. Okay. I don't know if you're going to want to give it a second before you glitter it. Because it is pretty liquid right now. This fragrance oil is basically perfection for this. Pretty pleased. I'm just going to give it a brief tap. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I would let this sit for a second before we do anything else with it. Okay. You want to come back? Sure. A few moments later... Okay, so we got glitter for the top. I'm going to start off with the Silver Hollow from Nurture Soap. More biodegradable. Yes, biodegradable. All biodegradable. As uh, Jackie puts it, we don't use any uh, trashy glitter. Classy glitter only. Next up is um, from Mad Micah's Into the Mystic. Because the goal of these two is to accentuate the third. See? How's that? That's controlled and I appreciate it. And last but not least, Unicorn Skin uh, Silver Holographic Stars. Biodegradable Holographic Stars. Which they are soap stable and we've used them before on a couple of soaps now. This one I'm being a little more heavy handed with. Oh man, mother. it looks so pretty. And that's coming from the glitter police here. All right, so this is gonna sit in the mold for about 24 hours and we will come back, split these into loaves and then the loaves into bars and we'll see how we did. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Uh, if there's a YouTube ad, we'll let that play. Thanks. Welcome back. The slab is looking lovely. Hopefully the dishwasher is not too loud in the background. Uh, looking very Aurora Borealis over here on this side. Yes. Let's go. Can you tell I'm really excited to cut this? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty. Greg? Yes, mother? Come to me, my child. So before we get started on cutting, we have a new piece of equipment. So this is a soap drying tray. I got four of them from SaveOnCitric.com. Not sponsored, I just have been really wanting to get something like this. I'll show a picture of our carrying rack as it stands right now, where we have been running out of space every collection because we're having to make so much, which, awesome, good problem to have. But this will allow us to basically double decker up our soaps because this is really tall on the inside. And the next tray stacks right on top here. So this is sort of the maximum height that we can get in here. So high tops, 
won't fit in here unless we do them like sideways, but low tops will fit in here and we'll be able to fit a whole ton of them. Uh, I'll put a little B-roll in of what we're able to fit in here just to kind of give you an idea. I'm very excited. Storage is awesome. Let's get to cutting. I always forget that the slabs end up with these giant sample bars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Dwayne! Okay, right out of the middle. Let's see how we did. Here we go. Ooh, it's a little different than last time. I think this was maybe a little more liquidy than the last time we did this idea, but it looks cool still. I'm still down with it. Yes. Ooh, nice. Man, how did we make it so perfect last time? <laughs> I'm still happy. Like, it's still really pretty. Yeah. I still really like the colors. It's just not quite as distinct as last time, and that is okay. I think you're right. I think it was a little more liquidy this time than it was last time. Yeah. Live and learn, right? Yep. If this goes over well, we'll do it again and we'll uh, get better at it. it. Means we're gonna need more gooseberry fragrance. You might want to cut that on the side, by the way. Oh. Uh, one of the bars has a, a, a pretty hefty drag mark. Yeah. All right, and I will cut it on its side. Not. Yeah. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> as soon as I opened it, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> Oh, you know what part of the anatomy I see then. Of course. It's not any better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more of a JJ's? It's a dirty galaxy. The oh, dirtiest the keys galaxies. Too? Ooh. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> it's still dirty. Well, you named this Big Bang, and look what you summoned. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Apparently, I need to give all the soaps dirty names if I want them all to have dirty images. <laughs> you're kind of like layered soaps, and you're like, yep. <laughs> Summoning dicks. <laughs> Make one call it Sausage Fest. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh. That one's got its legs spread. <sighs> I'm a cat. <laughs> Are you trying to hide the worst of the pervert soaps? No. No? No. Are you sure about that? Yep. You sure? Yep. You sure, you sure? Yep. Okay, so if I just went like no. this. See, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's all fun. You're not trying to hide any phallic images from me? Nope. Why would I do that? That would be crazy, right? Because me and the fans have pointed out. Like the multiple dicks off on the bottom of a friends and family 2019. Shh, 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 shh. No, 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 no. That was, for, that was family. That was wholesome. The multiple penises on nope. the bottom of the loaf. Nope. That never happened. Nope, I don't remember that. What is? What even is that? What even is that? Uh, I got nothing. All right. Do me good here. Do me good, final loaf. Penis. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> There's like two and also butts. Yes. Look at this. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you have summoned. Look what you have brought into existence. Come on. More peen. <sighs> Is it though? Is it though? I mean, it's actually more shaped like that uh, U-shaped vibrator. God damn Butts. It. Butts. <laughs> this soap really likes anal, doesn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> I know, I'm an asshole. So is the soap. Yeah, it's got vibrators on it too. <laughs> I have one of those U-shaped oh vibrators. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, now the mini bars, and we're gonna call it done. If the Graven's tired of all the peens probably and the butts, have, probably don't have to fill in the mini bars and the JJ's. <sighs> yeah, I feel like you're projecting. <laughs> sure, they'll see them too. Nope. Oh, they will totally see them. Nope. See what? It's not even anything there. All right, and here are the finished bars. So we've got all of our full size bars, sample bars and mini bars all ready to go. So excited, I think these came out really fun. What are exactly the 
same design that we were going for, but hey, live and learn, right? So if these sell out, maybe we'll make them again. It'd be nice to have another staple design to add to the lineup. But these will be available at the end of January, January 29th, Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at catandravendesigns.com. The usual spot. All the socials are down in the description box. Subscribe button is there. You know the deal. It's YouTube. That's how it works. So with that, we will catch you for another video. Remember to stay hydrated. Grab your water, have a sip, we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.